uh, good day viewers good day okay so uh this is mr mlenga welcome to my youtube channel so as you can see uh, we are looking at f geometry we are looking at f geometry and this is our lesson two okay so under lesson two we are going to look at the differences on the latitudes and the longitudes we are going to look at differences on the latitudes and the longitudes so before we we start finding the differences in uh, longitudes and latitudes we have to understand something okay so how can you find the difference in longitudes i'll start with longitudes how can you start the difference in longitudes okay if you want to find the difference in longitudes you have to look at the positions where these longitudes are lying okay so point number one if the longitudes are lying on the same side of the Greenwich meridian, okay, what are you supposed to do? To subtract. If the longitudes are lying on the same side of the Greenwich meridian, you are supposed to subtract. What do I mean? For example, if you're having point uh, Q, if this point Q, the longitude of this point Q, if it's lying on it, maybe, let's say, 30 degrees south, okay, this is the longitude, okay? I'm saying this is the longitude which is lying on 30 degrees south then you also having point m okay and this point m is lying on uh, 15 degrees south this is also a longitude a longitude so you can see that uh, these two points they are lying on the same side of the greenwich meridian okay on the same uh, greenwich meridian such as here there is uh, south south okay so what are you supposed to do what are you supposed to do remember these are longitudes what are you supposed to do how can you find the difference in longitudes between point q and m so here it's very simple i said if the longitudes are lying on the same side of the greenwich meridian they are supposed to do what to subtract so for me to find the differences between difference in longitude between point q and m i'll say 30 minus 15 okay then you are going to get 15 degrees so this is our answer okay meaning we have found the difference in the longitudes between point q and what m okay now let's also look at another scenario whereby the longitudes are not lying on the same side of um, the greenwich meridian but they are lying on different sides of the greenwich meridian what are you supposed to do so in that case, you're supposed to do what? To add. So let's say uh, we just rub here. It's not lying on south, but it's lying maybe on uh, It's lying on north. Okay? It's lying on north. What are you supposed to do? Remember, these are the longitudes. What are you supposed to do? So here, I've said that you are supposed to to add you're supposed to add because they are lying on different side of the greenwich meridian so you say 30 plus 15 and you are going to get 45 so this is the difference in longitudes if they are lying on different part of the greenwich meridian okay i hope this point is clear so for this first part, our concentration is just on what? Longitude. Okay? Just on longitude. Now, let's look at the example. Let's look at this example. So, the first example is, find the difference in longitudes between the points T and R. Okay? So, when we come back to this F model that we have been given, we can locate our points. This is where our point T is. And this is where our point R is. And they want us to find the difference in longitudes between these two points, T and R. So first thing, we write our point T. So let's identify the longitude for point T. On which longitude is this point T lying? You can see the longitude here. It's lying on 90 degrees west. This is the longitude. Let's not forget. Then let's come to point R point r on which longitude is point r 
lying this is our point r you can see this is the longitude okay it's lying on it at five degrees east this is the longitude now to find the difference to find the difference to find the difference between these two longitudes okay for point c and r let's see are they lying on the same side of the greenwich meridian okay definitely no okay why we can see here this one is lying on 90 degrees west the, the other one is lying on 45 degrees what east so what are we supposed to do so in this case we are going to add so we say 90 degrees plus 45 degrees why are we adding because the two points are lying on different sides of the greenwich meridian okay so here we are going to get uh a five yeah one point five so this is our answer okay so this is how best we can find the difference in the longitudes okay so if they are lying on the same side of the greenwich meridian you subtract if they are lying on different sides of the meridian you do what you add as simple as that okay as simple as that thank you so much so we'll go to the next uh, question this one we are just focusing on uh, longitude for the other one now we'll focus on the attitudes all right all right so um we are just from answering our question one now let's look at uh, our second example and our third example okay so here the second example is still based on finding the differences between the longitudes okay then the third example is based on finding the differences in the latitudes okay latitudes so remember i've just given you uh, or i've just guided you now you can find the the differences in the longitudes that is if the longitudes are lying on the same side of the greenwich meridian we are supposed to subtract okay okay if they are lying on the same side of the greenwich meridian you're supposed to subtract that's what we have said but if they are lying on different sides of the greenwich meridian the longitudes we are supposed to add okay now let's look at this second example find the difference in the longitudes between the points a and l okay so in, in order for us to find the difference between point k and l in the longitudes let's first identify where these points are okay so on this earth model we are able to see that uh, point k is this here okay so let me just uh circle them this is our point K. Then point L. This is our point L. Okay. Remember, we are finding the difference in longitudes. So to have enough space, let me just uh, uh, rub here. Okay. I'll rub here. But I do hope that um, you have written this question somewhere. So I'll wrap this part. Now we are talking about point K. Okay. So let's first identify the longitude for point K. This is our point K and it's lying on this longitude, okay, which is a 30 degrees west. So the longitude here is 30 degrees west. Okay. This is the longitude. Then point L. Point L. On which longitude is it lying on? This is my point L. It's lying on this longitude, okay? Which is the 60, 60 degrees east. This is the longitude. Don't make the mistake of picking a longitude and a latitude. No, we are talking about the difference in it, longitudes. So our main focus should be just based on the longitudes. Okay, now... What is the difference in longitudes between point K and L? So we look at on which meridians they are they lying on. Okay, you can see this K is lying on the other side of the meridian, and 
air is also lying on the different side of the meridian okay you can also observe that this one is on west this one is on east meaning they are lying on different sides of the greenwich meridian and if they are lying on different sides of the meridian you are supposed to do what to add so here you say 30 plus 60 and it will give us a 90 this is the difference in the longitudes between point k and a. okay that is our answer which is very 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 simple okay it is very very simple now we are done answering that question let's look at question three find the difference in the latitudes between points l and m so we have to understand something okay when we talk of the longitudes we are using the meridians okay to in order for us to know if we can add or subtract now when we talk about the latitudes we have to use the equator okay so if the latitudes are lying on the same side of the equator okay on the same side of the equator they are supposed to do what to subtract if they are lying on different sides of the equator they are supposed to add for instance if i'm talking about this point k and m i want to find the difference in the latitudes okay i'll look at uh this k is lying on the different sides of the equator with a latitude of 50, 50 degrees no this m is lying on the different sides of the equator okay meaning i've got two hemispheres the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere okay with the latitude of 45 degrees so i can see this one is lying on this latitude 50 this one is lying on this latitude 45 so i'm supposed to do what to add there okay i hope you have gotten the, this idea now let's concentrate on the points that we have been given they want us to find for point l and point m okay they want us to find for point l and m so i'll rub here rub here okay i'll rub there so the essence is the latitudes so l and l okay so we start with l we identify our latitude which is 50 degrees north 50 degrees north this is the latitude so i'm writing this so that you understand okay then we come to m our m here it's lying on what latitude 45 degrees south. this is our latitude so as you can see these latitudes they are lying on different hemispheres okay this one is lying on the southern hemisphere okay the other one is lying on the uh northern what hemisphere so you can see that here they are different in terms of the side of the equator where they are lying is see different okay so we are supposed to do what to add this one on northern this one on southern so you say the difference in latitude is equal to 50 plus 45 okay we are going to a 50 plus 45 then we are going to get a 90 this is the difference in latitudes between point l and d m so uh thank you everyone for your patience this is how we can find the difference in latitudes and the longitudes and please don't forget the cardinal points that we have discussed okay we have said if the longitudes are lying on the same side of the greenwich meridian they are supposed to subtract okay if they are lying on the same side of the greenwich meridian that is the longitudes you are supposed to subtract but if the longitudes are lying on different sides of the greenwich meridian you subtract okay what about the latitudes for the latitudes you have said if they are lying on a different side of the equator we are supposed to add if they are lying on the same side of the equator we are supposed to do it to subtract so thank you for your time okay i will just leave some questions with you and you have to answer them okay so these are the questions okay these are the questions you can try to answer them you can try to answer them to see if you have understood what you have uh, learned okay if you find that you have gotten them wrong you play the video again you go back
to the first point of discussion you see where you have missed it so that uh, you get them correct okay thank you so much for your time don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and follow this uh, channel for more content okay thank you